It's that time of the month again. It's time to show off some of you guys great model railroads, whether it's in progress or complete. I'm always excited to do these. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Train. Today I'm just drinking some McCafe, some McDonald's coffee that I had a kick up for and I stuck in the Keurig. So if you want to tell me what kind of coffee you are drinking and be featured just like these guys right here, you can put that in a comment below and who knows, you might see your name on an episode of Coffee and Trains. Also, this is a virtual model railroad show and I'll tell you more about how to get involved with that at the end of this video. But I do want to say a quick thank you to everyone who showed up at the Historic Spencer Shops train show this past weekend. I had an absolute blast presenting all of you and meeting so many of you. It was just a ton of fun. So thank you to everyone who showed up. But let's get into this virtual model railroad show. Oh, and I forgot to say cheers. Here's a layout from Mickey Hill. Mickey actually has two layouts, been into the hobby for a little over two years. He has a three and a half by seven foot in scale layout and a little trunk layout that he did for practice and portability. And the last pieces that he showed are a faceplate and switch plugs. And this is just a really great setup. I love seeing this Mickey. Great job on this. This just looks really, really cool. I really love seeing the trunk layout. I like seeing unique things that people do with model railroading because this hobby is really anything that you can make it. Next up, it's Scott Raines. Scott Raines has an HO scale layout in progress. He said he's only a few months from retirement and he's building it module by module, which is also known as the one module approach or TOMA, if you've heard of that before. And in order to transport this to a more permanent location, which is why he's doing it. And that's actually why I'm doing a T-Track layout. And right now he has a 10 foot by 24 foot building where he is moving this to, which is going to be a pretty good size layout. So that's going to be a ton of fun. And it's just a really fun look at these modules being built. And right now it takes up two walls in a spare bedroom and consists of three modules. And he intends to continue the module by module uh, construction process. But keep this going. I want to see more of this. So send this to me later on. Really excited to see this. Thank you so much for sending this in. This is a layout from Samuel Russ. Samuel Russ has a switching layout that is up and running using a Kato HO scale Unitrack. I actually have some Kato HO scale Unitrack and I really, really like the stuff. And he also has three sidings and check out that beautiful Southern Railway switcher. That just looks great. This is under construction, but I also like showing this kind of stuff because it's nice to see what people do to get to the point where they are finished and they may show their layout in other places for a little bit of inspiration for you guys. So thank you so much, Samuel, for sending this in. Barry Jonas, or Jonas, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but he's from the Netherlands, and he's sending in his two current projects. The first one is a test layout for him to learn how to do landscaping. It's in scale, and it's around DC, and he's trying to figure out how to get the lights and everything together. And his other one is an HO scale switching layout. He's managed to get trains, rails, and buildings for 75 euros, so you're looking at about 80, 85 bucks. That's pretty good that is really awesome and you can just check out all of these different things he's also in addition to watching my channel he's also recommended the channel budget model railways which i do as well that's a really good channel to check out so thank you so much for sending this in mark wilson has a unique model railroad mark says that he saw the other sci-fi layout that i showed on the virtual model railroad show and he wanted to show his he said he's been working on it for about a year on and off and everything except for the track and the trains have been 3D printed and self-imagined. He said the hardest part was thinking up the design and kit bashing in CAD to come up with the different models. Well, in my opinion, if you're doing models and miniatures for sci-fi, kit bashing is the way to go. In addition to all of uh, the other things that I like, I'm a hardcore Trekkie, and if you know the origin of a lot of the older ships in Star Trek, they were kit bashed. So doing kit bash for a sci-fi model railroad is a really great way to go and a time-honored practice. This just looks really, really neat and really creative. I really like seeing these kind of things. I love seeing all model railroads, but really when ones that are kind of like out of the typical, it's just really neat to see. Hein Welter says that they are really a beginner and they're still building up their layout. And he still needs to buy some more railroad track and everything 
to show, but he just wanted to show what he has here. And this is a really, really nice start. Hein says they're a beginner in getting everything up and running, but this is a great little starter layout of what's under construction right here. It's got that classic Markland track. So I really like seeing all of this. This looks like just, you're going to have a ton of fun doing this. Don't worry about anything too much. This is just really, really great that you're starting here. And this is a really, really good start. And I love seeing this kind of stuff. I love seeing new people coming into the hobby and getting into this. He's from the Netherlands. So we got a lot of European stuff here, but this is just really great. And I love seeing this. Next up, it's a garden railroad from Ben Herring. Ben has the beginning stages of his garden railroad, which is always a big and fun endeavor to undertake. And he has this video of his locomotive, which is a Kitbash LGB Stains, which is the classic LGB locomotive. And he's trying to make it more like a Victorian era 440. And then he said, note that it's still an 040 right now. And right now it's got about 50 feet of track on there and he's working on some different things with it, but it's always good to see the start. And I love the angles you're showing as well. So this looks great. Really happy to see this. I love seeing new garden railroads. David Smith is showing his layout, getting up and running. David's going for that classic loop design. And you can see he's going to have DCC for all the fun features that it can add. He's got his hillside starting to go in with that extruded foam. And you can see he's using that Digitrax Zephyr system, which is one of the many great starter systems. If you don't feel like building something like DCC EX, I highly recommend the Digitrax Zephyr. It's a great starter system, but this looks great. I can't wait to see more of this. This is a really cool submission from David Carr. David did this layout in a chest through a mix of scratch building and 3D printing to do an in-scale Hogwarts Express Harry Potter layout. Now this just looks phenomenal. The 3D printing looks great. The customization of the locomotives looks great. This is just amazing. This is one of the railroads that does. It's one of the ones that gets people into model railroading. There's Harry Potter, there's Thomas, there's the Polar Express. These are the ones that really can kind of draw people into model railroading. So it's really cool to see someone custom doing this in N scale because a lot of times you just see it in HO and O scale. So really cool seeing this. Love seeing it, David. This is just awesome. This is an ON30 layout from Kyle Creel. I can't remember if I've ever actually showed an ON30 layout, but this is the Grizzly and Dilapidated Railway. And I had to do a double take on some of these shadow box shots because it looked like from a quick glance, the Olympia layout from Model Railroader. This is a phenomenal looking narrow gauge model railroad. ON30 is an O scale narrow gauge, and it's probably arguably the most popular of the narrow gauge uh, models out there in terms of the indoor ones. Uh, G scale has a lot of different things, but this just looks really, really cool and really, really detailed. It's layout that, like this that really get me into wanting to explore ON30. And it's it's just neat. And I love seeing this um, American narrow gauge, especially from out west in the Rockies, is just something that's really fascinating to me. So I love seeing this. This looks really, really good. Thank you so much for sharing. I love showing off you guys layouts. It's one of the funnest things I do every month. If you want to send in your layout to be in the Virtual Model Railroad Show, you can do that by sending it to the email in the description below. Send me some photos. You can send me some videos. Uh, just one thing I ask is that there's at least one shot or photo where I can see the entire layout or a big section of it if it's a large layout. Uh, just do that. Send that to the email in the description below, and I will get you in the queue for the Virtual Model Railroad Show. Now, I only show layouts that are under construction or, well, functionally complete, so um, no plans or anything like that but just um send me those things to the email in the description below and hopefully i can get to them check out these model railroad businesses scaletree.com scaletree.com makes hero and forest trees for ho and in scale they also do custom trees for custom orders check them out at scaletree.com trains in the valley Trains in the Valley is a model train shop located in Pennsylvania. They sell new and used model trains with a mission to make trains accessible to everyone. You can check them out at trainsinthevalley.com, link in the description. Model Railway Backshop is a great place if you're looking for a quality paint job for your old or new brass model locomotive. If you're looking to get that brass model weathered, you can get that done too. 
Model Railway Back Shop is a great place if you're looking for a quality paint job for your old or new brass model locomotive. And check them out at modelrailwaybackshop.com. Penguin 3D Workshop offers 3D prints and electronics for model railroading, specializing in hard or impossible to find train parts. And they also offer custom designing and printing. Use promo code DDRR5OFF to get 5% off your order. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.